no ka ilio mo, the brindled dog, retold by Kavehi Avelino, illustrated by Eve Furchgott. On the island of Oahu, above the famous Nuuanupali, stands the mountain Kona Huanui. On a hill of Kona Huanui lived a beautiful woman. When this Wahineui would gaze down upon the sprawling Ko'olau land, she had a clear view of people climbing uphill, making their way over the mountain toward Honolulu. In Honolulu, at Ka'auku'u Point, lived Queen Ka'ahumanu. One day, the queen grew hungry for some kalua dog and poi made from the lehua variety of kalo. So she ordered her messenger, Go ask Kanaka Li'ili'i for some kalua dog and ask Kanaka Ole for some smoothly pounded poi lehua. When these mea'ai are ready, have them brought to me. Kanaka Li'ili'i and Kanaka Ole were two men who lived in Kailua in the Ko'olau district called Ko'olau Poko. Kanaka Li'ili'i raised dogs, which, like chickens and pigs, were eaten. He fed them well and raised them until they were nice and plump. Kanaka Ole was a kalo farmer. He carefully tended his kalo fields and raised fine plants. Ka'ahumanu's messenger immediately left Ka'auku'u and rushed to Kailua. Quick as a flash, the Elele arrived in the land of the Malanai breeze. He met with the two Kanaka, Kanaka Li'ili'i and Kanaka Ole. When they heard what Mo'i Wahine Ka'ahumanu wanted, they agreed and offered to deliver the Kalua dog and Poi Lehua the very next day. Ka'ahumanu's Elele then headed back to Ka'auku'u. Meanwhile, Kanaka Li'ili'i went and caught an Ilio Mo'o, a brindle dog. It was baked in an imu and then put into a calabash. The umeke was secured fast in a carrying net and everything was makoko to be taken to the mo'i wahine. As for Kanaka Ole, he prepared in his usual way. He pulled some kalo of the lehua variety and cooked it in the imu. Once the kalo was well cooked, he pounded it into the delicious poi lehua ka'ahumanu was ono for. The poi was put into an umeke and was makoko to be taken to Honolulu. Kanaka Li'ili and Kanaka Ole prepared their ukana to be carried over the shoulder on the long journey to Honolulu. It was a calm Malie morning and their journey on the path was pleasant. They climbed to the top of the cliff of Nu'uanu. It was a steep pali. When they arrived at the top, their path turned toward the cape below. In the shade of the pali, they did not see the wahineui gazing down at them from the pu'u on Kona Huanui. The wahine asked, Ihiana Oko, where are you folks going? We are going to see the best of their land, responded a voice from nearby. The leo came from inside the umeke. Kanaka Li'ili and Kanaka Ole were shocked and amazed. Ilio Mo'o was talking. Kanaka Ole exclaimed, La puho ika Ilio, the Ilio is haunting us. Ola ho ika Ilio, responded Kanaka Li'ili'i. The Ilio lives. The two Kanaka were filled with maka'u. The two Kanaka quickly threw the umeke and net aside and fled down the path. They sped off, Kanika Pola Malo, all the way to Ka'auku'u Point where Ka'ahumanu lived. When they appeared before Mo'i Wahine Ka'ahumanu, they had no mea ai for her. They were without any ukana, a ohe ilio kalua, no kalua dog, a ohe poi lehua, no poi lehua. Fear once again filled them, for they could be punished by Ka'ahumanu. They were overwhelmed with maka'u. To avoid being executed, they apologized to Ka'ahumanu, offering their most sincere mihi. They even told her the mo'olelo of what happened with the ilio mo'o. Ka'ahumanu found the things she was hearing very strange and ano'e. Despite the bizarre mo'olelo and the lack of ilio and poi lehua, Ka'ahumanu was not upset or huhu. In fact, Kanaka Li'ili'i and Kanaka Ole were pardoned. As for the wahineui who lived on Kona Huanui, 
Although she was not seen frequently, her strange e'epa nature was discovered. Her kino was half wahine and half mo'o or lizard. And it is said that mo'o are related to ilio mo'o. As for this extraordinary mo'olelo, it gained legendary status as a ka'ao and was repeated from the royal court of the Ali'i to the maka'ainana who worked on the aina. Those traveling at night became fearful of ilio, and the people of the ko'olelo side in particular would return home from Honolulu by early evening to avoid any pilikia caused by the mysterious ilio mo'o.